plačete! Hey everybody, it's my second debut here. Actually third if you count the last time we sat around the table and yeah. slept. And uh, that was a, uh, but yeah, on the stage the second time. Anyhow, Sure, you're assuming already uh, why I'm wearing this shirt, and that's because I'm a huge uh, Wayne Brady fan. I mean, Tom Petty. I mean, uh, Tom Brady. Tom Brady, yeah, obviously, Tom Brady. Yeah, yeah, no, I'm a big fan. Big, big, big fan. Anyway, so, uh, Bed Bath Beyond, they all close down. They have a place in there called Bye Bye Baby. It's a really, really messed up spot for a uh, for name for a uh, baby supply company. Bye Bye Baby. For the longest time, I thought it was an abortion clinic. But uh, I'm not pro abortion. It's no one's pro in something they've only done a couple of times. <laughs> How's uh, everybody liking the uh, paper straw situation? Those things are great, eh? No, they're not. It's not working at all. <laughs> they come with like plastic wrappers and stuff. Like, just give us the straws back. Come on. And then, uh, the uh, straws biodegrading in my ice cap before I'm even done it. Oh. You know, if you thought of it a year ago, you didn't think, or maybe two, how long we've been out for, um, that the straw clock was going to be a term that you're going to be using. You know, it's a race against the straw clock now to finish your beverage. Before your straw goes to shit, yeah. and you didn't even get to finish your drink. So you try to get a couple and make that uh, clock last a little longer. Might be able to get through an ice cap time to time. But, uh, you know, sure, there's one good reason, or good thing about the paper straws. They're easier on your nose. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> Anyhow, another thing regarding straws, because you guys seem really interested about the straw thing. <laughs> and uh, that's the fact that just like, and within the last week I've seen a friend of mine post a photo with five baby turtles in her hand. Why? And I, even before this moment, I've told this on stage, I see the turtle walking down the road, hand playing drone at 10 o'clock in the morning, just this spring, strutting down the street on a weekday, it's traffic, wherever the hell he's going. But he, had, he was on a mission. More pictures are showing up. So anyway, I'm trying to get to the point that there's a heightened presence of turtles. Ooh. And it's only a matter of time before we have to bring these plastic straws back. The controller, the turtle population, obviously. There's too much growth there already. You know, uh, I always wondered, uh, recently wondered, and been wondering a lot since then, is when do flowers really die? When the floors cut them? Or do they slowly die on your coffee table or your dinner table? Something to think about? Is it like a pallet of care situation? Uh. Or are you just trying to show these flowers a good time for the last days that they got? And that flower food? I don't think that's flower food at all. I think that's a pack of a highly potent psychedelics. Whoa. Shows them a really good time for the last few days that they got. I wonder why I did that. It's because I ate a pack. Oh. Changed my life. <laughs> so, uh, I got a kit now recently called Midnight. The yeah, only man wrote that earlier, but uh, got it for the. Uh, the girlfriend's daughter trying to earn herself some brownie points with the girlfriend's daughter. Friggin', it's my fault. I'm, I'm paying for the fact that my girlfriend used to de date shitty men. You know, she already hates me. She's hated me for, ever since I started hanging out with her mother. <laughs> it's really hard to come around. But like, it's not my fault. The ones before were shitty. Like, I'm a nice guy. So anyways, trying to get some brownie points, thought I'd get a kid that's all cute, cuddly, and furry, and you know, it's gonna be great. Yeah. Tell you lay in the bed, it's crawling up your coat, <laughs> crawling up your back like it's an old coat in the middle of the night. <laughs> yeah, your opinion changes on that right quick. It's freaking uh, pretty painful. But, and then 
Most of the time, it's running around like it ate a, back, a pack of flower food. Like a fucking wired out lunatic. Anyhow. Um, one little story I want to tell you to see if anybody else has ever kind of been in this kind of situation where <clears throat> it's 2 a.m. You're just maybe a couple of you hanging out. You get a late night knock at the door, so you're just trying to get everybody quiet as they can because you have no idea who's at your door. You weren't expecting anybody. You know, it's getting towards the end of the night. You're sitting there, and then all of a sudden your phone rings. It's a fucking pizza joint. The guy's out in your front lawn because you ordered pizza fucking 45 minutes ago and you forgot about it. And you go outside, buddy's wandering around your front lawn looking at the house, all in the dark, the pizza box, and you're like, yeah, bud, sorry about that. It's a little party and paranoid. Forgot I ordered pizza. Anyways, I thought that was kind of funny, and I'm gonna leave you guys with that. <laughs> all right. Martin.